Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome once again into my online classroom, Math Class with Terry V. This is a customized learning experience. Um, as I do this lesson here on geometric mean, understanding exactly what that concept is, um, it is a good example and a demo of how my online classroom works. It's active and engaging for my students, flexible scheduling anywhere, anytime, and I'm an experienced, knowledgeable teacher. I can diagnose things that might be um, preventing you from gaining some confidence or moving on to certain levels in math. All right, so let's do this and good luck with this lesson. Have a piece of paper available and even a calculator if possible. So to understand the idea of the geometric mean, um, it comes from the title itself, geometric and mean, okay? Geometric has to do with a multiplication concept. So we have a number uh, series, a sequence here, where I'm doing something to each number to get the next term. Now it's a pretty simple example here, but you notice how we are multiplying by 2. So we're doubling each time. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and so on. It's a consistent pattern that can go forever. So obviously I can look at this and tell that that's what's happening. I'm doubling each number. All right, so the next number, of course, would be 32, and then 64, and then 128. Now, that's not so, that's not so hard. So the next question is, um, even if I didn't know the doubling pattern, what if I was missing a number in the sequence, and it was gone, and I needed to figure it out? So I need to figure out how to go from 4 to the mystery number, and then from the mystery number to the 16. So that's a little bit of a harder question. Well, let's take a look at the pattern here. Notice that the first number 1 is over the second number 2. And then the 2 is right next to the 4. And the 4 is right next to the 8. Now when you have a number sequence like this that's geometric, there's something being multiplied every time, this is what happens. Okay, we create a series of equal ratios. 1 over 2, 2 over 4, 4 over 8, 8 over 16. Those are all other names for the fraction 1 half. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out how to create a proportion from this. And here's the key with the geometric mean. What I, what I can do is I realize that if I didn't know that 8 was there, then I have a proportion where it's 4 over something equals something over 16. Just the way the number sequence works, the fact that it's a multiplication pattern allows me to create a proportion. So let's say that I had the question in a number sequence, there's a number between the 4 and the 16. Okay, It's a geometric pattern and I want to know what that missing number is in between. Now I already know it's 8 because I just crossed it out. But what I do is I write a proportion. 4 over x equals x over 16. So if I'm looking for a geometric mean in between two other numbers, what I do is I write a proportion and I put the missing number, x in this case, in a diagonal position. All right. If I call it x here, I better call it x here. Whatever letter I'm going to use, it doesn't matter. Now, when you solve proportions, of course, you're going to cross multiply. So x times x is x squared, and 4 times 16 is 64. Okay, so what number times itself is 64? Obviously, the answer would be 8. Okay, so it works out from what we already knew. All right, let's go ahead and use this idea of a proportion to find the geometric mean between the 6 and the 54. Okay, now I do not have to know what the number multiplication pattern is. However, it looks like, if we first kind of take a look at our clues, 2 times what is 6? Hmm, I think it's maybe a 3 multiplication pattern. So 6 times 3 and then 3 times that number, maybe that'll give us the 54. Okay, but that's the hard way. The easy way is to write a proportion. Alright, so I'm going to say the geometric mean between 6 and 54 creates this proportion. All right, I'm going to cross multiply. Six times 54 is 
324. Now if I'm going to go ahead and take the square root of both sides, that would give me 18. Now when we put that in there, let's see if it makes sense. It does follow the pattern. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 3, you'll see, is 54. All right, so to find a geometric mean between two other numbers, you're going to write a proportion, cross multiply, and solve. That's the basic idea. Now this has all kinds of applications in trigonometry and parts of triangles and um, other functions as you get into algebra, trig, and calculus ideas. So geometric mean. Hope that made sense.